Now, Harry and Meghan are once again determined to tell their truth, regardless of how it aligns with the facts. The Duke and Duchess of Woke have reportedly gone to war with their Netflix paymasters by demanding chunks of footage for their 2023 docuseries be cut after becoming, quote, panicked about what will be shown in the wake of the Queen's death last month. According to the New York Post, the couple are, quote, having second thoughts on their own story and have made significant requests to walk back content they themselves have provided for the project, which they originally wanted to debut after next month's series of The Crown, in, I think, the ultimately tasteless move. I mean, I have to be honest, it's painfully inevitable that Harry and Meghan would end up at odds with Netflix after selling their privacy and dignity to the tune of £73 million. As I've said in a new column for the Mail Online tonight, the Sussexes did a deal with the Hollywood devil to reveal all. Now the streaming giant is demanding its pound of flesh. And to deal with this breaking story, I'm joined now by our esteemed royal masterminds, Lady Colin Campbell and Phil Dampier. I mean, Lady C, this is extraordinary, isn't it? Because they have made the series, they have edited the series. All of a sudden, because King Charles is waiting to see what damage the series does before he decides whether little Archie and little Lily bit should be called Prince and Princess, all of a sudden, Lady C, they don't want to slag him and Camilla off anymore. I mean, to me, this is karma for Harry and Meghan. <laughs> well... You know, the fact of the matter is, I've been speaking to people in America, in you know, corporate people, and there's some very interesting developments evidently going on behind the scenes, uh, because Netflix does want its pound of flesh. And one of their arguments is that Harry and Meghan can't have several different versions of the truth. And so they want to go with the version that Harry and Meghan have already provided them with, which I think is perfectly reasonable. Because, you know, I mean, if you are married on a Tuesday at Westminster Abbey, you weren't married on a Thursday in the chicken coop at Montecito sort of thing. But let's see what happens, because I think that Harry and Meghan are justifiably panicked because they didn't realise that they were so unpopular and that the British monarchy was as popular as it is, which just goes to show how totally out of touch Harry has become with reality and how influenced he has been by megalomaniac. Phil Dampier, what do you think? It looks to me as if uh, Harry and Meghan have blinked first, haven't they, in this standoff with the royal family? I think when they were over here during the week of the uh, Queen's sad death and funeral, I think the penny may be finally dropped that they were up against a, a thousand year old institution that's probably as popular as it's ever been. The new king has made a great start. He's extremely popular. The new prince and princess of Wales are very popular. And I think maybe it's dawned on them that they've overdone the criticism. And uh, trouble is, they're now up to their necks in it. Uh, they've made these mega money deals. I know some of the money is supposed to be going to charity. Uh, but uh, basically, uh, as, as Lady C says, Netflix are going to want their pound of flesh. And as you say, you know, so it's very difficult for them to back out. And uh, they might try and delay it. They might try and rewrite it. But they really are backed into a corner now. And I think it's going to be extremely difficult for them to justify some of the stuff in the, in the uh, A in Netflix and B in his book. Well, indeed, because, of course, he's also trying to delay the book as well. But do, do you know what, Lady C? I actually think Charles should just forget about waiting for the Netflix TV series. He should forget about waiting uh, for uh, the book to come out. He should just make the decision now. Why on earth would he give the children a uh, a royal title. It makes no sense to me. Surely he should just rip the plaster off now, say, we're dumping you from the family. You have dumped on us and he should take the initiative. Well, I don't think, Dan, that uh, the king should put it quite like that with due respect to you, although I fully appreciate where you're coming from and in part agree with you. I think that it is very likely that those children will go down the Wessex route 
and that yes. even though they have the rank of prince and princess, they will not be allowed to use the titles prince and princess. I think that's pretty much the likely uh, scenario until they are adults. And by the time they are adults, it will be set in stone. Look at what's happened in Denmark. You know, look at what the King of Sweden did with stripping the royal highnesses of his grandchildren. So I think I think uh, there's a groundswell of that those who do not take part in the monarchy actively are not given royal rank and they're not made royal. Or even if they are royal highnesses, they're not allowed to use it. Mm. So I think. I think it's it's I wouldn't have said it's done and dusted, but my understanding is that this is most likely what is going to happen. It's just a matter of, you know, there's no need to rush any of this. For instance, uh, the dukedom of Edinburgh, it's, it's, you know, because of all that's going on now with Denmark and Harry and Meghan and the children, it might not be the most pr propitious time to honour the commitment that the Earl of Wessex would be made Duke of Edinburgh. See, I, I think, think they should just do that too. Uh